So what's going on? Something a little different on the channel. Even though it does have something to do with tools, because <clears throat> the bike you see, even though it's a Walmart special from many moons ago, I have replaced almost everything on it myself. So let me get into it. Yes, it is a Mongoose Blackcomb. Circa 2004, I believe, in the first year they came out. As you can tell by the Always Wear Your Helmet sticker. And that phone number right there, the old school. It's an original black comb. It has the old school Mongoose logo right there. Not the M that is on the recent ones. As you can tell, I replaced the wheels on it. These tires are crap. I'm going to replace them. At the moment, I just needed something. But the front and rear are tenny rims. You can, they have a website, I believe. I bought them off eBay. Actually won a uh, uh, an auction, which I rarely do. Do an auction. Got them for about 111 bucks, if I remember correctly. These go for around 200 which I was very happy with. Now, the reason I needed new wheels is that and that are remnants of an accident I got into. I, was, I use this for exercise, by the way. Um, I was riding along the street. <clears throat> Car literally made a right in front of me. They had a red light. They didn't care. I turned the wheel I slammed down the brakes, turned the wheel out of, I don't know why I turned it, but it bent the front rim. <laughs> so I had to walk it home on its back tire. And these are the war wounds from that accident. I replaced the rear shock with a rock shock, uh, uh, the Elite, whatever it is. <laughs> Gotta replace it again because it's shot. It's not dampening anymore. Same with the front front fork. It's not dampening anymore. I think the front fork, all I gotta do is just replace the oil in it. I hope. I'll get some uh, 10 weight or 30 weight or something and throw it in there, see if that helps. I put 530 in there, but I don't think that's the right viscosity. So, you do a, probably straight 30, something heavy. Because I'm a big guy. The brake shifter combinations right there. Those are old school Shimano D or XT brake shifters. They don't have any switches on the bottom. So bonus if you know how to shift these. All you have is the brake handle. Seeing the whole shifter moves. But I'll let you know at the end of the video. Change the seat because, like I said, I'm a big guy. I need a little extra cushion because those thin ones hurt my rear end. Added rear and uh, front fender because I got tired of going through puddles and it's splashing all over me, which is a good thing because uh, last night I just brought this out of retirement after many years um, and decided to start bike riding again. And luckily, I had these on because. Some geniuses in the neighborhood are walking around horses um, and there are droppings everywhere so because of these I didn't get splattered from my tires with uh, horse crap. I recently changed the brakes to Avid BB7s front and rear because they have uh, the larger uh, brake pads that I like. I had BB5s on there, and they just couldn't stop like I liked. Go ahead and say it, crap pedals, I know. Crap pedals. I ordered some new ones, they're coming. And then I got the Nash Bar uh, adjustable stem. Those are good. Should I have a longer one, because I'm 6'1", and it would be better for me on this bike. I think I will eventually, but that one works for now forget what kind of crank this is, but it's an upgraded one from the one that was on there. Shimano crank. Then I got the 
they said it was DRXT front derailleur and the rear derailleur. That's that's old school right there. If you know your bikes. But yeah. Everything on this bike, except for the headset, the seat post, and the what is it called? The the bearing set in between the crank. I'll I'll figure it out and I'll post it right right about here. What you call it? That oh and the seat post, seat post clamp. Those are the only original things on this bike. Yes, I put a lot, a lot of work into it. Yes, it is a Walmart brand bike, Mongoose. But I like it. I like it a lot. And I don't care what people say. It suits me. I can go on a trail if I want, but I usually just use it to, uh, to exercise. And if you need a bike just to exercise, don't let people say, oh, you should get a more expensive one. You know what? Give them the finger. Tell them to buy it for you because this is what you got. This is what you chose. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And bonus to shift these things. It's up and down on the brake, brake handle. So... Takes getting used to when you first use it. You're always doing that. Oh, you're always moving that and you're shifting. But it works and I like them. I don't think they sell these anymore because they are a pain in the butt to get used to. A lot of people didn't want to. Oh, and uh, also my handlebars are a little higher because I can't uh, crouch down anymore. Couldn't for a while, my back is bad. More of a comfort bike now, huh? But thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and all that jazz.